Hi, today I'm looking at the vlog of Estony. Um, day 59, chameleon character, um, self-forgiveness statements. I thought this was a really cool blog, uh, really cool self-forgiveness statements that I could um, recognize myself in, in how I have been living in my life myself within the chameleon character where I would automatically completely shift and change my entire behavior and demeanor in relation to various people like my family and I had these different groups of friends like I had three different main groups of friends where I would be and become an entirely different personality and to me I always thought and saw this as normal like it's just who I am you know and then um, I'm gonna read a self-forgiveness statement that Estony wrote to um, further support the point that I am discussing with regards to my own life I forgive myself that I had not accepted and allowed myself to utilize moments where I've seen characters within and as myself colliding, where I am in a situation where different environments as different people in my life come together, and through this I forgive myself that I had hidden the characters colliding within as myself under layers of feeling un uncomfortable when I'm in a situation where two of my chameleon characters are colliding, and thus and thus through this I forgive myself that I have been stubborn to the point where I would blatantly ignore that I am the source of my discomfort as the two characters are colliding where I would find a reason and blame f and blame my environment for my discomfort within and as myself. This is what happened to me. I mean this is something that I used to very very much try to um, try to what are um, stop from happening where the different groups of friends would meet each other because I knew that if that were to happen then they would actually see that who I was in their presence has always been a lie like I'm just putting on a front then they would actually see that and in those kinds of situations the kind of the type of personality that I would obviously choose to step into would be the personality that fits into the relationship with the people that I deem the most important in my life, which would for instance be um, a male character that I see as my potential partner, so then I would in my mind make like a quick decision of okay, like a quick assertion of or assessment of what is most important in this situation, who is most important, who can I in a way lose, you know, who must I really hold on to and then quickly, quickly um, sort out my characters within myself and then present a certain image of myself. And in myself feel extremely uncomfortable and uneasy and then blame my environment, obviously, because I was never willing to consider and realize that I have always been lying to myself and to everyone around me because I had always accepted this as who I am. So, in a way, I guess I really did see that I was lying to myself. If I was really honest with myself, I did see that and I could experience that within myself because that's what I was doing but I would never be
truly open or honest about it, I wouldn't be able to let go of the lie because it was just who I am. That's how I accepted myself to be. So to me, there was never an alternative. This was just who I am. So I just had to make sure that those different groups of people never met each other in my life so that I would never be in that kind of uneasiness experience within myself in that kind of situation where my inner characters, my inner lies collide and um, I'll find another statement, a self-forgiveness statement by Estony because she just wrote a lot of cool things um, I forgive myself that I had not accepted and allowed myself to see, realize and understand that I'm becoming different characters when I enter into different environments as different people within and as my environment and through this I forgive myself that I had accepted and allowed myself to justify to myself why it is okay to become different characters within and as my life as I have justified that everyone else is doing it and through this I forgive myself that I had not seen, realized and understood that I am the one who, d who undermines myself as who I am through me accepting and allowing these different characters within and as myself to manifest as expressions of who I am. So, um, so within this as well Um, that's how I how I had been existing within those characters is always in a point of blame towards other people like believing that it's other people's fault or responsibility and that they are making me behave and become this character I really because if I had seen my responsibility within the entire situation and within how I experienced myself inside of myself then then I would have already b just seen the truth and I would have been able to stop but I always believe that it's my environment that is causing me to become a different character because I existed within this fear of if I were to stop the character then I would lose myself, then I would lose everything, then I, everyone and everything I've ever known would reject me and I'd lose my entire world because my entire world is completely based on these characters that I've always been playing in relation to the people in my world. So, so in this I had never seen, realized or understood that I am truly the one who undermines myself as who I am through me accepting and allowing these different characters within and as myself to manifest as expressions of who I am and by not taking responsibility for myself within realizing that I was always the one that has created the characters in the first place I ha I was always the one who has started that participation in those characters by you know within the very steps that I took to create and manifest that relationship in my life. For instance, the moment that I met those people that I now call my friends, in that moment I made deliberate decisions to present myself in a certain way, to make them react to me in a certain way so that we could create a certain relationship, a friendship, wherein I then supported their chameleon characters, wherein I basically assumed and expected that they would adapt their behavior and their expression to me just like I was adapting my expression and my behavior towards them in that not only imprisoning myself to this fake expression and experience of myself but also the ones that I am creating this relationship with because the entire relationship is entirely based on a lie it's a lie because the real motives and the real desires and the real fears that are the starting point of creating this relationship in the first place are never spoken 
they are always in the hidden mind, in the secret mind of the individual being, which are always certain fears and desires that make us believe that we're not good enough as who we simply are and that we thus have to change ourselves completely to be able to fit into some kind of group to then receive support for who we apparently are when who we are have become within that group is not who we are anymore at all so then who is really getting support only a lie that we present ourselves to be but not who we really are and that's actually how we survive in this world is as a lie not as ourselves because we are constantly changing ourselves within and as the chameleon character so to gain perspective and understanding within how we in fact function as a chameleon character I would suggest to go and visit the blog that Estony wrote and read the self-forgiveness statements aloud slowly so that you can actually see for yourself so that you can see yourself within the words that you're speaking and assist yourself in understanding yourself a little better and I will place the link to the blog underneath my video here. Thanks.